I'm Amy from Our Amiable Farmhouse, and today I'm going to share with you what we keep in our homestead medicine cabinet. I really love it when I can keep some natural ingredients on hand that I can whip up into a tincture, tonic, or some kind of syrup to help keep my family and myself healthy all winter long and through the cold and flu season. I've shared on this vlog with you uh, my elderberry syrup, which I'm out of right now. So here's my jar of elderberries and I need to uh, make up another batch. More recently, I shared the fire cider recipe with you and uh, it's still, I'm still letting it steep probably another week or so. I don't know, I'll check the calendar, see how long it's been and then I'll strain it off and we'll be able to use that. And um, then I've got a jar of mullein tea here. This is really good for um, decongesting. So when you have any kind of sinus issue going on, um, chest congestion, I really like to brew up a pot of mullein tea. So those are just some of the herbs and tonics that we like to use. Another thing I like to do is, this is just some Epsom salt, and taking a bath of Epsom salt and some great um, therapeutic grade essential oils makes such a difference. You could do it for aches and pains, um, clear your head of congestion, um, and kill germs with a variety of different essential oils that are used specifically for you know different ailments. Some of the things I like to use are lavender and rosemary and oregano are great for fighting infection and killing germs. Um, frankincense, I've got cinnamon, chamomile, sweet orange, clove. I, I like to make my own thieves oil. Since we employ homeopathic remedies, I make my own thieves oil that doesn't contain any mints or eucalyptus, things that um, kind of reset homeopathy. And so when we're using homeopathy, I make sure that I don't use peppermint, eucalyptus, tea tree, things of that nature. We also use quite a few herbal supplements and uh, Echinacea Golden Seal is one of my favorite. If something's going around, we'll start taking one of these a day. Um, and if we start feeling like we're catching something, we'll bump it up to two. It works really well for prevention. If you do get sick, then it's really fantastic at um, reducing the duration of any kind of cold or flu. Vitamin C is also very good. I like to take that on a daily basis during the winter and cold seasons. Uh, this is just some vitamin C crystals. Uh, this is great to stick in a smoothie. It's very easy to eat that way. And so if you hide it in a smoothie, it's not so tart. One of my very favorite supplements is Baobab, okay? Baobab powder, I get it from Trim Healthy Mama. There's probably several other distributors on Amazon you can buy it from as well. Um, I just trust Trim Healthy brand because I know where it's coming from. Um, they do a lot of research uh, to get the best possible product. But Baobab is a crazy uh, immune boosting supplement fruit from Sudan. But this thing is more powerful than blueberries and acai put together. Baobab has really helped um, as well in keeping colds and flus at bay, keeping us healthy, and once we start feeling it come on, we just employ that along with all the other things. And usually uh, we have managed to avoid any major illnesses thus far this season. But in the past too, it's, it has really worked for us. Also another vitamin supplement that is very important, especially during the winter months when we're less likely to get sun exposure or enough sun exposure, especially here in the Pacific Northwest, 
is a vitamin D supplement. So we like to take this D3K2 supplement. The vitamin K is very important. It helps you absorb that vitamin D. Um, so that is uh, a very important addition as well. Also, as a last resort, unfortunately it shouldn't be a last resort, uh, but we just don't like taking it, is uh, a cod liver, fermented cod liver oil. And that's just if we're really desperate and we have something really bad, like maybe the flu or maybe strep throat starting on. So then we gotta really think about pulling out the big guns and we get a, a cinnamon flavored cod liver oil. So it helps it not taste so fishy, but it's still not like our favorite. But it is better than taking pills, so there's no like burping all day long, the fish, you know, paste. We haven't had any of that with, with this fermented cod liver oil, so at least that's a good thing. We also employ a lot of homeopathic remedies. Now, homeopathy is fairly new. I mean, if you consider, uh, you know, over 200 years old, new, which in, you know, the scheme of things, I guess it is. <laughs> <laughs> but um, it has really worked for our family and um, I've got a bunch of links in the post where you can research that for yourself find out what it's about um, who employed it first and the studies he did and discovers discoveries and all that stuff but um, for our family we like to use it we have firsthand experience that it really works I've used it. Um, I've used it for all different applications. Um, probably one of the most amazing. I mean, besides, you know, fighting the cold and flu and any kind of tummy bug that we might have, uh, was when Beauty Number no. Two broke some bones. Uh, in particular, uh, the first time she broke one was an ankle, and so we started using uh, some specific remedies for that and. She healed very rapidly, like really rapidly. And even the doctor was pretty shocked from the difference in x-rays from day one of break and three weeks later, it almost being healed. So we were pretty shocked <laughs> that it actually works. And, and we had employed some other supplements as well. Uh, specifically uh, turmeric and curcumin to help with inflammation and um, some extra doses of vitamin D and, and things like that but um, and calcium but um, we really attribute her quick healing and mending to the homeopathic remedies now a little disclaimer for you that should go without saying but I am NOT a medical professional and I don't claim to be so always do your own research and talk to your doctor and just do what you're comfortable with for your family I have done a lot of research over the years and and it's a process I mean I've been on this journey uh, a good 10 years probably of you know natural living healthy lifestyle whole foods clean eating herbal supplements and medicines so it is a you know it is a journey and don't feel like you've got to do it all at one time because that's just going to cause stress bring down your immune system and you're going to get sick so don't do that you know i would suggest just taking one thing maybe a month start out with with that amount of a change and you know and then as you get more comfortable with it you can progress to um, maybe two different things that you try a month and so forth so don't stress about it um, spend some time doing your research and reading the library is a wonderful resource besides the, the World Wide Web of course and make sure that you are seeking out your information from reputable sites and resources of course don't always believe what you hear or read seek out the information for yourself knowledge is power it's also kind of dangerous because then you realize everything that you've been doing is all wrong or <laughs> anyways don't stress about it I tend to do that I tend to be that person that wigs out and oh I 
did it all wrong. Oh dear, we're all gonna die. I'm still here, my kids are still here, we're healthy. <laughs> I hope by sharing what we do in our family to keep healthy has inspired you to try something new and at the very least, make some elderberry syrup or fire cider for your household. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you liked what you saw, give me a thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel, hit that subscribe button and bell to be notified each time that a new video goes live. Each week, I bring a new video on simple food, simple living, simply handmade. Thanks so much for stopping by our amiable farmhouse. All right. I hope I said everything that I wanted to say. The struggle is real. Struggle is real, people.